All vehicles have blind spots, and those are those areas that a driver can't see into when they're sitting in the normal driving position, no matter how they have their mirrors set. And when people talk about blind spots, they're usually talking about the ones that are located by the side of the vehicle and slightly behind the driver. With these blind spots, for the most part, a quick look over your shoulder into the blind spot area before you change lanes is all that's required to be sure you can safely move over. Many vehicles also help you out with this by having blind spot warning systems. These give you a visual warning when a vehicle is in your side blind spot and even an audible warning which is all great if there's a vehicle hidden in your side blind spots, but those aren't your only blind spots. Blind spots also occur around the front of the vehicle. This car has three roof supports known as the A, B, and C pillars. This A pillar, also called the windshield pillar, can block a driver's view of part of the road and create another blind spot. This is my point of view from the driver's seat. There's a good sized blind spot area behind the right A pillar. And this is my view to the left with a blind spot behind the left A pillar. That left A pillar looks really big when it's right there beside me because it's only about a foot away from my face at the closest and then maybe about two feet away at the furthest point. Here comes a pretty good sized van. Now if I looked at the wrong moment, that whole van could be hidden behind my A pillar. In the same way to my left. There's a tough area to the right with cars parked there and other cars coming from the right. Not only are the cars blocking your view, but you have the A pillar right there blocking more of your view. I can ease out a little bit. I have to watch to the left as well. Here comes a car from the right. See it there? It's gone and there it is again. If you're not careful, you can pull out when you shouldn't and get hit or cause an accident. Another blind spot area, especially if the front of your vehicle is angled down, is that something can hide behind your rear view mirror. Something could be over there pulling out and you might not see it. You can see more area around the right A pillar than you can around the left A pillar because the left A pillar is right there in front of your face. If there's something behind it at a little bit of a distance, it could come out of nowhere. How much these pillars obscure your vision depends on a lot of different things. How it's shaped, the distance between the driver and the pillar, the thickness of the pillar, the angle of the pillar, the angle of the windshield, how far back the driver has their seat adjusted, and even how tall you are. And so how do you deal with those blind spots behind your A pillars and the blind spot that could possibly be behind your rear view mirror? Well, here's four things that can help. If possible, move your seat back a little further as long as you can still easily reach the foot pedals and the steering wheel. This will put you further away from the A pillars and the rear view mirror, which will let you see more of the area around them. But if you can fully depress the pedals while keeping the heel of your foot on the floor, and if your wrist can rest on top of the steering wheel with your arms extended, your seat should be safely adjusted, and you wouldn't want to move your seat back any further. As you approach an intersection, scan the area as you slow down. Looking for vehicles approaching from the side so that you have an idea of what to expect once you get to where you have to stop or merge. Especially be looking for pedestrians, people on bicycles or motorcycles, because these are easily hidden in those A-pillar blind spots. After you've slowed down or stopped, change your point of view. Look right at the pillar and then look around it. If the pillar is possibly blocking an area you need to see into, then lean slightly forward, lean a little backwards, turn your head from side to side, but you don't just sit in your driver's seat like a statue. Move your head and body position to change your line of sight until you can see into the blind spot area. Do a little bob and weave. And one of the most important things is don't rush your turn. Take your time and be sure it's safe before you leave your stopped position. Make sure you look in both directions at least twice before moving forward. Rushing is the enemy of safety. And I can roughly sum it up into look, lean and leave. First of all, look as you're approaching an intersection, look for traffic on either side as well as pedestrians, bicycles, etc. Once you're at the intersection, look again in both directions and lean a little bit forward and backwards to see around those A pillars. And then after you've looked both directions at least twice, then it's safe to leave. I hope this helped make you more aware of your front, your forward blind spots and how to deal with them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Drive safe and see you soon.